What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to be getting back to the E91 project, and uh, guys, we got to start grinding on that project, we have so much things to knock out before my boy Nick comes over, we're going to get the wiring situated, we're going to go ahead and get the coating situated, and hopefully get the E91 M3 driving in less than a month, that is the absolute goal, but I need you guys to support at the same time, because this build is costing me way too much money, and we have a dream by the end of this year to accomplish a big goal, so I decided to bring back something we used to do that was very, very, very fun and very memorable with every single one of my builds. So for those of you guys who are new to the channel, you guys probably don't remember that I used to make these plaques on every single build that I used to work on, at least every major build that I used to work on. But yeah, basically these plaques are plaques that I made to basically remember the year that it was built, the people that supported it, the companies that supported it, and what build it was exactly. So this is a 2016, this is Atlantis Blue FADM3, we have Keys Motorsports, Burger Tuning, SR Performance, they actually collaborated with this build, and every single one of you guys that actually purchased merch to support this build. So I really appreciate you guys on that we have the m4 right over here the 740 li we have this 2007 650 which is one of the cheapest cars i ever made a plaque on but at the same time a very fun experience getting back actually to the 740 this was probably one of the most nightmare experiences but it was a build that i would not give up on and uh yeah that is something that i'm looking at as one of the most financial mistakes i've ever made in my life <laughs> but we have a plaque to commemorate that the 2011 535 ride that we ended up wrapping in blue and this is the 2008 m3 the first ever m3 i've ever rebuilt on this channel you guys can see this was in 2019 2020 2021 and then we got all of you guys right over here this one right over here was the 335i i did this right before the m3 and uh yeah we got the supporters right over here as well and then this is my 100k plaque and my 10k plaque that i decided to make for myself because why not but yeah i decided i want to make one for the e90 m3 because this is going to be a plaque i'm going to go ahead and showcase on the windshield of the car so every time i take this car to events car meets stuff like that that you guys are going to be coming out so i'm going to have your guys' names on the windshield and I want to take this plaque everywhere with me and just keep it with the car because this is a custom build and I want to show off everyone that actually becomes a part of this build and I'm going to make it very easy because again, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you guys. So first things first, for everyone that wants to be a part of the E91 M3 plaque that's going to be sitting right over here, you guys are going to be entered in to win these amazing tools. So I got this whole kit over here. This is pretty much the grand prize right over here. We have a Milwaukee multi-tool, a Milwaukee impact. We also got the battery for it, the charger, all the bits and everything over here for these tools and also the bag that is the number one winner i'm going to be announcing the winner on my instagram hopefully by the end of this month i'm going to give this stuff away at the end of this month so that is the primary thing that i'm giving away right over here i'm probably going to add a few other milwaukee tools down the line i'll let you guys know i'll keep you guys posted i want to do more of this stuff for you guys because i really truly appreciate you guys the next thing is i have to add a retrofit this is for the e90 chassis e92 um so this is a retrofit shifter that you guys can put into your e90 e92 and just make it look kind of like an f chassis the third prize right over here is a bluetooth wireless speaker i mean come on who doesn't need that i got one big boy right over there exact same brand as this guy i absolutely love it i use it all the time and the last two prizes to make it five prizes in total is this keys motorsports f chassis key um i think like sleeves or something so yeah basically to enter for this is to check out that first link down below at nattyperformance.com and just cop anything at all it can literally be a couple bucks it could be a decal it could be an air freshener it could be a retrofit harness kit i'm not gonna do the whole thing where people do all times 100 entries times 50 entries if you guys literally want to buy a decal that's the exact same equivalent value if you guys want to buy a whole retrofit kit on my website mainly because i want to get everyone equal chances and i want everyone to be a part of this e91 m3 build so everyone has an equal chance to not only win this stuff but also be a part of this build which i think is going to be absolutely amazing and it's just something that i used to do and i don't know why i stopped doing it it is so memorable and it just looks so good also with this lighting and everything it's going to be there in all future videos and again this one is going to be on the car when we take it to future events and possibly SEMA of next year. Also, last but not least, I'm actually shouting out every single one of you guys that purchased merch. There's a lot of things. If you guys literally purchase some decals, you're going to be entered to a giveaway, your name's going to be on a plaque, and you're going to be shouted out in the next video of this entire build series on the E91 M3. So every single build series is going to be shouting out the people that purchased merch the prior two days prior to that video. So yeah, a lot of good stuff. I want to support you guys. I want you guys to support me at the same time so we can make this build happen by the end of this year. Now, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead, hop into the E91, and bundle up.
And good morning guys, this is the next morning. I'm here with the E91 and I'm not gonna lie, I can finally say it's an E91 M3 and it feels so, so, so good. My boy Alon came over and helped me put in the engine and transmission. We pretty much just got it pretty much bolted up where the subframe is. Everything else is disconnected. So we still had a lot of more things we need to do to get this engine started. But imagine this thing pretty much driving. It's gonna be super sick. What you guys saw me doing the last day in the undercarriage is actually getting the drivetrain all lined up. So we got the transmission bracket mounted up. And I'm happy to say that our all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive conversion came out very successful so i'm super happy with that we also got the drive shaft all hooked up bolted up ready to go and then i also routed up the e-brake cables uh so the e-brake cables are right over here we do need to get it hooked up to the e-brake so we actually have a functioning e-brake before getting any power to this car actually trying to drive this car we don't have brakes or e-brakes so we definitely need to start probably working on both of those two things so yeah the first thing i want to go ahead and do is just get this e-brake wired up and then go ahead and start bleeding the brakes we still gotta get a few more brake things hooked up and once all the brake system is fully connected i definitely want to start bleeding that as well and then honestly guys you could probably even start getting in some of the carpets which i'm super excited about. i think all these carpets will be able to go in and this is going to look more and more of an e91 m3 as the videos go on from here on out guys we're making so much progress and now that the engine and transmission is in here we have a lot of things you need to move around a lot of maintenance we got to get done as well i know a lot of you guys are gonna be like nor why didn't you do the raw bangs when the engine was out honestly guys i'd rather get a service at a shop where i can get proper documentation and paperwork and i could probably work out some kind of deal at the same time i really care about paperwork and cars like this when you say you got the raw bearings done or the throttle actually is done or anything like that without proof of papers it could just be pictures of another car and there's just no proof that you actually got the work done so for me spending you know a thousand two thousand dollars on actuators raw bearings the bolts and all that other stuff for this job i'd rather spend a little bit more make sure the job is properly done and i get proper paperwork for a build like this and the reason i'm saying this is because i already have a couple companies in mind and i definitely know they're going to be doing an amazing job on this motor things we're going to be doing though um we are going to be replacing for example the water pump i want to do also the valve covers i want to clean this entire block I'm going to replace everything over here and just clean up everything in this front end before actually assembling the front end. So that is stuff I am going to do because now it's super easy to just pretty much work on everything before we actually slap the radiator support in. That all being said, we did get pretty much everything hooked up on this wheel well. Um, we pretty much got all this stuff hooked up as well. Honestly, we were pretty much ready to start assembling some of these front panels like the M3 fenders, the M3 hood, um, which I think is going to be super sick. We got all this stuff pretty much situated as well. I am going to be doing a uh, TPMS delete. So I'm pretty much just tucking away that wire right over there. Other than that, I got everything else hooked up you guys can see it's flowing pretty nicely right there we are also missing the pump that goes right over here that needs to get welded on so you need to de-weld that off that car and weld it on onto here and we still got a lot of the wiring that needs to get done over here to connect the engine um to the actual body harness so again a lot to still get done here when building a custom car like that i wish it was just as easy as replacing a couple panels and bada bing bada bang you got an e91 m3 but this build is literally the definition of custom because we have to do a custom bumper custom quarter panels literally everything needs to go to either a body shop paint shop there's a bunch of custom work that needs to get done to this car but in the meantime if we can get this thing running and driving i'll be pretty stoked for that so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get the full brake system in this car e-brake brakes working properly in this car so we can actually possibly get this car in our garage so we can work there day and night even with all this like change of weather here going on in california we've been actually getting a lot of rain recently which is kind of a good thing kind of a bad thing <laughs> it's definitely a good thing for the water bill but it's not really good uh for this build because water is getting inside the car and i've been having to cover it every single morning with some tarp <laughs> all right all right you guys heard enough let's go ahead let's get to it and uh get this e-brake hooked up Right, guys so i transferred over the e-brake from the m3 because this one has a lot less rust on it. i mean almost it's literally almost rust free other than this little area right over here the other e-brake i don't know had so much rust on it so i'm super happy to replace it with this one got everything else hooked up properly so finally finally we have braking now unfortunately i was gonna actually get the uh brake pedal assembly hooked up but i forgot since this is a manual i cannot hook up the brake pedal assembly without actually hooking up the, the clutch as well and the clutch pedal it's not that big of a deal other than the fact that i actually messed up the cylinder the master i think it's a sleep cylinder master cylinder one or the other i accidentally messed it up when removing it so i ordered a new one as fast as it came in yet so i'm waiting on that so to properly hook up everything and actually bleed the system i need everything connected otherwise it's going to literally just pump out fluids so we're not going to set this up just yet but the things we can do in the meantime we need to tie in the rear brake lines and then on top of that we need to actually install the clutch sleigh that goes inside the transmission so let's go ahead and do those two things so when we are ready to install the brakes uh we'll be ready to go
Guys, I am honestly speechless. <laughs> Let me just check this out, guys. We are finally act. This car is looking like an M3 now, and I'm just so excited. The full suspension on the car, the drive shaft connected, the transmission connected, the engine connected. We finally got actually everything in this DME section connected. So honestly, once you plug in a couple of computers and get power to this car, we should be able to at least give this thing a crank. I did go ahead and put on the power steering, the coolant. I believe this is the trans cooler on this car or an oil cooler. We're gonna be putting the other oil cooler over there, and then the, probably the radio and condenser and everything like that hopefully in the near future i do want to do some maintenance down here and give this up a good cleaning before putting together that front end but oh my god guys like, i'm just so 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 happy all the details are here i was afraid when getting the engine in we we're gonna scuff up this paint and like mess up this engine baby but guys super happy that this absolutely looks stunning i cannot wait for this whole car to be this color to have the wider fender flares the custom rear bumper and just like oh guys i am just so stoked and to think i'm doing all of this in my backyard guys this is insane and once we actually start driving this thing it's gonna be the best feeling in the world guys we are so 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 close and hopefully once everything is sorted on this car i'm gonna try to go to some car events and i want to see you guys there this is gonna be a car that i'm gonna be truly like passionate about and i definitely want to take it out to events for you guys to see as well i also plan on doing some rally driving with my boy johnny and earl Lyons. so hopefully once this build is complete guys i do plan on changing up the videos at least a little bit because we've been doing a lot of builds recently and i do want to build an r8 on this channel as well but i definitely want to enjoy this car and that's something that we're definitely going to be doing hopefully when this car is complete i'm just so so excited guys we just i cannot believe we have the engine in the manual gear shifter <laughs> that's so sick i'm gonna be playing with this all night and we have the carpets in like these carpets just basically mean that everything underneath here is complete and it's just like another satisfying feeling and just oh my god guys oh my god anyway i can sit here and talk about how much i love this build that's the reason i started it but uh i, I think the next video hopefully we're gonna be trying to knock out some more some more things possibly we get the dashing in the near future like i honestly need to get the dash in asap because we need to do some coding we need to test out a couple of the electronics stuff like that and we definitely need to get this front end on here as soon as possible so we can take it out for a spin so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash the like button do not forget to enter the giveaway guys so if you guys want your name on a plaque on this car in every event i ever go to make sure to check out that first link down below and you'll be shouted out in the next video and you'll be entered to win a milwaukee to win a couple other cool things so do not forget to check out the story down below but without further ado guys it's gonna have to conclude the video i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out